Elizabeth. I'm Mackenzie. Welcome back everyone, today I will recap the 2023 horror film named Stay Out of the Basement. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we see Mackenzie in a cornfield. She is doing a dare because she needs money. She hears someone crying, and when she goes to that side, she sees a woman there in a white dress. Mackenzie gets a little scared seeing her, and when she tries to get out of there, she falls down. She notices that the woman is looking at her, fearing that she starts running from there, and that woman starts chasing her. However, Mackenzie manages to get out of the farm. We then see her at Liz's house where she has come for a job interview for babysitting Liz's young girl Peyton. Now giving a tour of the house, Liz tells her about the basement, saying that it is off limits as it is under construction and not safe. Only then does her phone ring, and she leaves there to attend to her dad's call. Meanwhile, Mackenzie is looking at Liz's photo when the basement door suddenly slams shut. The door then opens automatically again which scares Mackenzie, and as she tries to leave, Liz comes there. She tells Liz that the door just opened, to which she says it's usually locked, but there is a window open down there, so it will blow open if it's ajar even a little. Later that night, Mackenzie is sleeping at her home with her friend Cammy when she dreams of Liz's house, and when she wakes up, she finds her room door opening by itself. She tries to wake up Cammy, but she doesn't get up, so she herself starts moving towards the door. Just then Cammy gets up and Mackenzie tells her that the door opened by itself. Cammy says her dad probably opened it and asks her to just close it. Only then Mackenzie notices bloody footsteps on the floor, due to which she gets terrified, and then the door suddenly slams shut. Cammy also wakes up and then suddenly Mackenzie's dad opens the door and asks them if they are alright, and Mackenzie notices that the footsteps are now gone. The next day, Cammy calls her and asks her if she is still babysitting, because their house is haunted, and whatever is there followed her home and scared them. Mackenzie asks her how she knows it came from there and not the cornfield. She tells her that they say there is a woman in white haunting there, who resembles a girl who went missing in the 80s, and that she was sacrificed to some demon. Heather Morris committed suicide there, and another guy got stabbed, which is why they closed the road. We then see her at Liz's house, where before leaving, she tells Mackenzie that they keep the windows open in the basement at night, and sometimes there is a noise, as it's an old house. Now after Liz leaves, Peyton asks Mackenzie if she knows this house is haunted, but Mackenzie takes it in jest. Later, while talking with Peyton, Mackenzie learns that they just moved here a month ago, so she doesn't have any friends here. Mackenzie cheers her up saying she is her friend now and they are going to have fun tonight. They then play some games and dance, and during this, we see the cornfield lady keeping an eye on them. After a while, the food delivery guy reaches there, keeps the food packet at the door, and leaves there. However, when he gets into his car, we see the cornfield lady is already in the back seat, and as he notices her, she attacks and knocks him unconscious. Meanwhile, Mackenzie asks Peyton why did they move, to which she tells her that she thinks their old house was haunted. She never saw anything, but she knows her mom did. She was scared of something and started sleeping in her room and became really protective. Once when they came back home late from her mom's ex-boyfriend's house, they were driving somewhere in the woods on Hurley Pond Road. She was asleep in the backseat, and when she woke up, her mom was not in the car. She gets out of the car to find her and enters the woods, where she finds some stands and a strange book with something written on it in Hindi. Peyton clicks at picture, and only then she hears a female demonic voice from around her, due to which she gets terrified and runs away from there. Her mom then finds her and Peyton tells her that she woke up in the car and she was gone. Liz says sorry and that she should not have done that. She says she thought she saw someone who needed help, so she locked her in the car to keep her safe. She went to look for her but it was no one. Peyton says her mom was different after that and she was scared of something, and even when she wasn't scared, she was always somewhere else. Even the house felt different after that. It was always cold, and she would hear things. That's why they moved from there, but whatever it was just followed them there, and back here. Mackenzie asks her does she still have the picture that she took, and Peyton shows her the picture. After this, we see a flashback, in which Liz returns to her home and she is talking to Peyton who is at her grandparents' house. But suddenly she sees a glimpse of Peyton in the washroom, which shocks her. When she goes back, she sees that there are some stands and that book and a knife lying there. Liz picks up the knife and then she hears a female demonic voice and sees a lady in the mirror. Liz tries to attack it but her friend Haley stands by and tells her that she called for her before she came in. She says she heard she moved away and didn't see her for three weeks. Liz says they moved back because the other place didn't work out. 
Later, Liz tells Haley about the night that she saw a woman who ran away into the woods. She left Peyton asleep in the car and got out to check on that woman. She couldn't find her, but there was a weird shrine, and even though she couldn't find her, she knew she wasn't alone out there. She could feel like something was waiting for her, and she feel it even now. Almost every time she looks out at a window, she feels there is something out there or in the room with her. Haley says our minds work in mysterious ways, and she has been through a lot in her life. She has had to fight to protect Peyton from very real threats, and so she thinks whatever happened exacerbated that, and is playing on it in a surreal way through nightmares and maybe hallucinations. Liz asks her what about Peyton's night terrors. How does her anxiety explain her getting up in the middle of the night, and having to find her out in the woods behind their home or in the closet? Haley says Peyton can sense what she is going through, and suggests her to talk to someone or take something that can help her. Liz says she thinks she has to confront it and find out what it wants. She knows it wants Peyton, but there has to be something else she can do. Back to the present, we see Mackenzie reading the Bible to Peyton, and suddenly she wakes up in the middle of the woods. She hears some sound there and sees someone's shadow, due to which she gets terrified and tries to hide. We then see that lady carrying a body on a trolley, and she also has a sickle in her hand. Mackenzie returns to Liz's home and grabs a knife and checks that Peyton is sleeping in her room. Only then she hears someone coming towards her, so she hides in the bathroom. She sees that woman checking on Peyton, and then she leaves there. However, when Mackenzie comes out, the woman pushes her when she tries to attack her. Mackenzie manages to run into the basement to hide, where she gets that food delivery guy Eden, who asks her if she has a phone and if she knows where they are. Mackenzie says she has to go as she is coming back and she will call for help. Only then do they hear some noise and Mackenzie hides there. The woman then comes there, and Eden tells her that people are going to be looking for him. Now as he tries to run away, the lady knocks him down and slits his throat with a sickle and collects his blood in a tub. Mackenzie gets terrified seeing this and tries to escape, but finds that the exit door is locked. The lady then comes after her, and Mackenzie suddenly wakes up from her sleep and finds herself in Peyton's bedroom. Only then Liz enters the room, and Mackenzie says she was reading to Peyton and fell asleep, and asks her if she can sleep in here on the floor. Now the next day, Mackenzie is in her house, when Cammy comes over there and asks her did she heard the news. She tells her she may have not been dreaming last week after all. Mackenzie gets shocked to see that Edon's car was discovered by a jogger this morning parked down a path leading to the Wheaton River. Cammy says if it was not a dream, Peyton and her mom could be in danger. Mackenzie then tells her that she is working on the book that Peyton took a picture of and she was able to translate some of it. It's about a Hindu goddess named Anna Kuari that requires human sacrifice to bless the harvest of her worshippers. So, if there is a demon in that cornfield, she might have been it. Later, Mackenzie goes to Liz and tells her about her dream. She also tells her that Peyton told her a little about what they went through. She asks her does she think something or someone followed her home. Liz says she thinks Peyton had a terrifying experience that night that she made a very poor parenting decision to leave her alone in the car, and that night has had some lasting repercussions. Mackenzie asks her if she has been in the basement, to which she says every day. She put a padlock on the door outside the day after she was here, and asks her to go and check by herself. Mackenzie goes to the basement, where she finds stairs going up back to the house, and she realizes that something is wrong there. She then goes to see Peyton, who gets overjoyed to see her. Liz also comes there, and Mackenzie notices that Liz has a band-aid on her fingers, and she understands that Liz is the woman with the mask. We then see a flashback, in which Liz goes to the woods to confront the entity. She asks her what does she want and why is she doing this to them. She says whatever she wants, keep Peyton out of it, and if she wants blood, take it from her. The entity then appears in front of her and begins moving towards her, due to which Liz gets terrified. She then grabs her by her throat and the screen goes black. Meanwhile, Haley finds Liz's car on the road, so she goes into the woods looking for her. She finds her sitting in front of those stands and tells her that she needs help for her and Peyton's sake. She says to let her help her, to which Liz says okay and slits her throat with a machete. Back to the present, Peyton tells Mackenzie that she has been reading the psalm every night since she read it to her, and she hasn't had any nightmares since then. Mackenzie says that's a start, and the movie ends here. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.